this thing on? Is this, is this working? Hi, why is camera, oh, camera's not designed for this overlay yet. Hi everybody, Monkey DKS here, and uh, hi. Yep, that's it, just, just hi. Move me over there, wee! Um, we are, uh, we're hanging out, kids, thanks for that resub. Eight months, that's crazy, that's crazy talk. Um, but uh, yeah, we are starting a brand new campaign called the Tales of Exandria Marquette. Um, and, uh, and it takes place in Exandria, specifically on the island of Marquette. Um, so we are, uh, we are pretty excited. We are, um, we got a great cast of characters here. We got, uh, Mumbles and Masters and Micro and Ducky and Lynn and, and, and who, wait, who else? Uh, people. Hold on, I can just look over here. Um, Dark Moon. Did I say Masters? Doug, Meta. All sorts of people. All sorts of people. <clears throat> Won't tell me to post it. Oof, wish you could join. Um, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. We're actually, I feel prepared this time around, which is unusual, uh, <laughs> but I do. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, so I got a new job. Uh, I'm killing time, by the way. We'll, we're still getting some things set up. Uh, I got a new job and uh, been uh, I've been enjoying that. That's been fun. Um, the times are really rough, though, so I'm I'm having trouble doing the uh, the streaming thing. So there's that. I think yeah, I think I've been enjoying it. Yeah. It's not the most stimulating work in the world. I mean, I'm basically uh, help desk support for a large company, just internal help desk, which is fine. I mean, it's not, it's not really hard. <clears throat> um, there'll be more interesting things happening once we're all back in the office again. That'll be good. Um, but hey, pays the bills and uh, I'm okay with that. Um, I didn't post anywhere to say that I'm live. I should probably do that. I suppose monkey streaming at jungle fam live now twitch duh. wow I can't spell twitch TV <coughs> slash monkey DKS oh hold on HTTPS colon slash slash because you know reasons KC kill shots. Thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, so that's live. Let's go ahead and throw up a Twitter too. Haven't done that in a while either. Um, <clears throat> tweet live now. New hashtag D and D. In Exandria. Woot. And tweeted. Sweet. Sweet. So uh, I got a new job, Casey. So I work uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. My time. Uh, so streaming has been difficult. Uh, I'm hoping to get back into it a little bit next week. Um, do it a little bit more. Uh, we will definitely have Tuesday nights D&D &D next week. Uh, so I'm hoping to add Monday and Friday in as well to do some Minecraft. I've made a ton of progress on the, uh, what's it called? The, um, uh, words, I'm gonna get there. Give me a second. On the end, uh, like tons and tons of progress on the end. It's been, it's been super sweet. Um, so that's cool. I am a dragonborn. Yeah, that one's me right there. Am I gonna point at it? I think it's right there. I'm not looking at the right window. Oop. Yeah, that will literally point again. I did good. <clears throat> I am, I am ready for the, the, the inside game. In the game, the game in the game. Um, uh, I do not, I do not have control of my character yet, but that's okay. Ooh, 7.30, hang on. Uh, 
All right, <clears throat> that's it for sugar for the rest of the day. <clears throat> um, yeah, so spend a couple hours writing books for it tonight. Nice. I gotta. I still have to write some uh, some backstory for this character. I have sort of the the general gist of things, if you will, uh, but I don't have it all written down anywhere yet. I gotta do that still. That is, as they say. On the list. Um, oop. Okay, good. That fits better. Uh, I think I'm getting pretty close. It's like D and D. Yeah. I know. We all still have to write backstory. <laughs> Literally, some of us just finished naming our characters less than forty minutes ago. Um, big girl truck. Nice. Um, I actually have my. Uh, I have my, my CDL license as well. I'm not going to use it for the new job. Um, all right, let's see if we can refresh this and get everybody out of the way. There we go. That's better. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, so we are, uh, we're just, we're just getting things prepped, getting things set up. First, uh, first session of the campaign is always a little rough. Um, but I'm ready. I got my, I got my D20 with my extra life logo on it, which is not going to focus. Maybe. Hello. There it is. Um, so I'm ready, ready to go. I can't roll that one on my desk though. Cause I still have a tiny hole in my desk somewhere from like the first day I had it. <laughs> I rolled it on the desk and I was like, Ooh, that's sharp <laughs> and, and pointy. Whoops. Actually, I think it was the D6. I think it was this one. Because this one's real sharp. <clears throat> Job doesn't require a CDL. Good. It's a pain. Um. Yeah, most of my things are... Most of my attacks are D6 damage. So that's good. Um... Let me tell you a little bit about me since we're starting off. Um, my name, <coughs> let me see if I can get this right, is, um, where am I? Oh, I didn't change my, my nickname. Hang on. Do, 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 change nickname. I asked everyone else to do this. I didn't even do it myself like a jerk. Oop. Uh, is, uh. It doesn't actually show up on D&D Beyond because uh, it's too long. Uh, it's uh, Let's see if I can do it. Cryamachukniniak. But everybody calls me Chuck. Uh, and Cryamachukniniak. Uh, Cryamuchuk, I think. Cryamuchukniniak. Uh, my last name is Undinar. It's way easier. Uh, I am a male dragonborn. I am a fighter. And, uh, and I am... Uh, I am uh, originally from Marquette. Uh, spoilers on some of this, by the way. And uh, and I am an emissary to uh, to the folks. I should probably open that so I can reread it again. Um, Marquette PDF. Um, I would like to highlight a thing. That right there. Good. Um, pretty much ready to go. Hey, good news. We're pretty much ready to go. So let's go and hang out with everybody else already in voice. And that would kind of... Um, Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello, Becky. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the disco party center. All right, my camera is going crazy with autofocus, and it's annoying me. That's what happens. I missed when, you. That's what happens when you unplug your camera and plug it into your work computer for weeks at a time. <clears throat> nope. Hello, darkness. That's my old, my old friend. friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we all went there. All right. 
Okay. What are you talking about? I'm still there. Are we? Do we feel like we're ready now? I mean, I'm still adjusting my camera, but that doesn't stop me from talking. Can everyone see? Nothing stops me from talking. Can everyone see the picture that I have up still, right? I can. I saw my token for a little bit, but it's gone. I assume that was on purpose. So, yeah, that was on purpose. I don't need your tokens. I can I can see the picture on mobile uh, <clears throat> stream. If um, but if y'all fight, if y'all fight some somebody, reason, you missed the mobile up. thing's not very good. So, <laughs> well, that seems like something we would do. So actually, mm -hmm. it probably is important because we will be fighting. But I'm just letting you know. Okay, we'll do. So, welcome everybody to session one. Oh, I hope I got of, that pause in time. Of Marquette. <clears throat> Yay. I'm excited to have everybody back and ready to roll on a Friday night campaign once again for like the third time. Dude's so excited right now. We're we're gonna get this down to a science eventually. Just yeah, like, we're gonna be really good at starting campaigns. We're like so I good. Think I think we already are. I think we're, we're like, there, we're, guys. We're so bomb at it. I don't know. We're 36 <laughs> minutes behind. It only so. took me four days. <laughs> took Mumbles yeah. way less time. Yeah. <clears throat> Anywho. So. To begin our story. You all, your characters, uh, have spent the last year um, exactly to the day uh, in the city of Ankarel on the continent of Marquette. Um, in this year... The um, emperor of the city, uh, Jimon Saord, left. No one knows where they went or why. They just left. Shortly thereafter, the oasis that provides the water and the quality of life for the citizens of Ankarel um, began to dry up. Um, and went into a period of severe drought. Um, considering how devastated the landscape of Marquette is from the events of the uh, Calamity, there was really nowhere else to go, and so scarcity uh, was very much the name of the game. Uh, the different uh, factions, so to speak, uh, in the parliament that was formed uh, did their best to keep things rolling along, keep some semblance of a, a central and unified government moving forward um, and they worked in tandem uh, with the Hand of Ord, which is the sort of uh, militarized guard um, of the city uh, through their leadership uh, most everybody survived at least uh, it, there wasn't a massive dying off here in Ankarel um, however, everything was attempted uh, to get the water back, to, to get to, to somehow restore uh, the oasis that the city was built next to. Um, eventually, uh, a man by the name of Saman the Wise uh, decided that he would make some sort of deal or offering to Cord, who's the Stormlord. Um, shortly thereafter, uh, the city was overwhelmed by a series of uh, slow-moving thunderstorms. And the rain came, and it poured, and it flooded. And lo and behold, the oasis was once again restored. So, uh, celebrations were organized, and the first ever festival of the um, desert rains was held and has since concluded uh, after a week of festivities. Uh, together, as a group, you all from your different corners uh, of Exandria that you all have come from here to Ankarel in one way or the other um, are known as the Counselors, or the Marquesian word for it is Mushtar. Um, the Mushtar have been sent a messenger and you all have been summoned uh, to the Shrine of the Storm Lord um, on urgent business uh, from uh, Zayim, who is the head elder. And so you all are making your way here. That is what is, is pictured, is the 
uh, the bridge or the path to what is now the um, the shrine, uh, the Stormlord, and that is where we begin tonight. Mm -hmm. Um. So how about we'll go um, one by one, and if everybody, whoever wants to start, we'll go ahead and uh, you'll go ahead and introduce your character. So who wants to start? Sister, would you like to go first? Uh, Give me a second. I I'm, I forgot that I need to think of a appearance. So someone else can go first as I quickly type that out in my head. <laughs> you type in your head too? I <laughs> need beyond, but I use it as uh, a vehicle for my <laughs> thoughts. Okay, uh, hey, Mumbles, can I have a quick word with you just for one second? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go. Um, <laughs> my, my name is, uh, Krymucha oh, I got it wrong. Krymucha Niniak Undunar. <laughs> Y'all can call me Chuck. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, I am a, uh, I am a dragonborn. And uh, I am metallic bronze, um, which usually means that uh, that, that, that I'm an evil dragonborn because the metallic dragonborns were uh, were uh, sort of some of them were engineered after the fact to be evil, but uh, I'm not. So far as you know, um, yeah. for the length of time that you guys have known me, um, and. Uh, I have a uh, I have a pendant of a of a uh, silver dragon on my neck. Um, sorry, platinum dragon on my neck that I, I wear around my neck, and um, I have uh, I have a long sort of dusty cloak and just some uh, some tan pants that I wear, just rugged tan pants, and uh, because I uh, I have been out in the uh, we come from the desert. I also carry a great sword and a shield. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's that's about it for me. Great sword and a shield. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I can throw it down every so often. <laughs> um, I guess I can go. Uh, I am a uh, five ten uh, half elf with uh, very short curly white hair uh brown eyes and uh a large scar um across my neck uh sort of like uh like an animal bite um i have a pendant uh that has a um black feather uh encased in uh amber around my neck uh and i have a um 10 foot, or not 10 foot, 5 foot long rifle slung over my shoulder. Uh, which it appears that I am only barely able to um, carry properly due to my very lithe figure. Uh, strength of 5, by the way. <laughs> I told you not to carry it with you. <laughs> Masters, I already switched you to your neck. Uh, I sorry, I did not say my name. You did not. Um, that that is the most important part of any character. My name is uh, Vexalia Freyan von Musel Nerilla Osaboda Roller. Uh, you may call me Vex. That's all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, it gets twice as Great question, guys. <laughs> and my brother no. is. I am Vexilia Thesis von Musel Phineas de Pop Jade de Rollo. I am this uh, rather scrawny little thing's uh, younger brother. <clears throat> I am 5'8". I wear uh, mainly black as I am uh, one to be hidden in the shadows until <laughs> needed. Uh, I uh, do my best to help those in need and I have a, uh, a raven uh, crest that holds my robe together. Say it. Say the thing. Do it. Say the thing. 
Say what thing? I'm gonna poke you with the stick till you say the thing. Say the line, man. Say dagga, the line. Dagga, dagga. Say the one, thank you. Somebody said it. Now we have that out of the way. Don't I don't know what again. you're talking about. I only have one <laughs> dagger. Maybe two. For now. So, that's Vex and Vex. <laughs> um, Ducky and Meta, you guys can't go next. Uh, actually, Ducky and Lynn. No, Lynn could go if she wanted. <laughs> Lynn or Dark Moon. Mm. Okay. Oh. There's no reason for this. Yeah. He's trying to keep the V's together. <laughs> yeah, keep the V's oh. together. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go next. Let, let Dark Moon go then, because we uh, should go together. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not ready just yet, sorry. <laughs> Jerry! Uh, you, who did not have the character ready until five minutes ago, are not yeah. ready. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I mean, I... Uh... <laughs> Oh, I have the wrong button. Do we need to stall for you once again? Yeah, when you, when you think your bears. player is going to come riding in on a horse, but he shows up to session banging a couple of coconuts together. <laughs> that doesn't even seem weird to me. <laughs> have any of you thought about the flight path of a swallow recently? After that European. Name European. Or European. Oh, that's a good no, question. No offense, yeah. Vicks, but compared to, like, the two names that came before you, that is pathetically short. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't need Hunter to prove my worth. Ooh. <laughs> and what's your name? Nick Knack. Well, it's definitely not going to be a strength competition, now is it? Uh, I'll win that one. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> you could probably all carry all of the rest of us. You are our horse. Oh, what, is, what is my carrying capacity? Oh my god. Uh, it should be 15 times your strength modifier. Oh, yeah, 15 times your strength score, unless you count as a large creature, in which case it's 30 times your strength score. But technically, no one counts as a large creature because Wizards is too afraid. Too afraid of the uh, big boy. No, there are races that give you uh, one level up for carrying capacity, such as Goliath. Like power, I mean, yeah, powerful build, but it still counts as medium uh, size. My carrying capacity is 75 pounds. <laughs> wow. Yes, we had to leave quite a lot of her equipment back home. I don't know why you couldn't just put it in the bag of holding I took away from Mother. It's Mine's not ours. Uh, Alright, can we, can we get up. more introductions? Who's next? We're waiting on you. Okay, I, okay, I guess I'll go. <laughs> well, this is going to be off the top, but, you know. Yeah, so is mine, don't uh, worry. My, my, my name is Dane. I am a uh, male... Human Ranger. I am uh, have mostly green clothing with a uh, cloak. Um, yes, you stand quite out are... here in the desert. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, I kind of keep to myself and uh, keep to know. the I finest. Think... I, I think our fashion uh... senses fit very well together. <laughs> hey, I, I can't be very hidden around here. All right. You know, it might be a desert, but hey, I'll get used to it. I keep the sand out of places, you know, that I don't need to. Anyway. Oh, trust me, I've got tons to care of that. So it's anyway, everywhere. Uh, my character it's cool. is six. It irritates. Six. It, it gets everywhere. <laughs> okay. How tall is your character? Okay, anyway, anyway, so, okay, I was 6'2 and 190. And uh, I have a longbow with me, as well as a nice, uh, nice pistol. And I, uh, I am uh, very not so happy to be here for the most part. Now that everybody's got weird names, but we'll get over that. <laughs> Sorry, your last name is Three Shot. That, that's pending. <laughs> that might change. That might change. <laughs> okay, so your last name is you. Question Marks. How yes. is that stranger than these? <laughs> I don't know my last name. I'm not telling you about that. <laughs> 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 okay, so you know that sounds remarkably like our is... our parents. Uh, um, you know the adventuring name. It's like the, it's like that thing. Like, there's a resemblance there. The Super Bowl winning quarterback. You know, everybody names their kids after him after that. That next year, it's like that's just what happened. 
Mm -hmm. all, just, just all of the kids then were just named Vox Machina. <laughs> no, not Vox Machina, Vox Machina. Ah, Machina. I think it's Machina, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. You've had trade disputes with them. <laughs> oh, God. Who's left? Uh, you, you and, um, Lynn. Me. And, and me. And, 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 and Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> well, Wesley's still figuring out if his character's an elf or not. <laughs> He's an elf. <laughs> I, I, hope, I, hope, I, hope, I hope. I hope we've moved past this. <laughs> actually, you and me both. Actually, he's a custom lineage accounting for tiefling, goblin, and elven heritage. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm, I'm hitting that. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, I would like to shoot this <laughs> man with every bullet that I have. With a huge yeah, ever on glass shot. I got a pepper box and I got one bullet for everybody. <laughs> Listen, all, all I'm hearing is... <laughs> That's all I'm hearing okay. right now, Alright, 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 I'll go. Okay. Um, my name is um, Ararissa Hydrus. I am a red tiefling with yellow eyes. Bonus points for anyone that gets that last name. <laughs> I. I don't. I do. I... Only because I told you. Um... No, actually, it's from other. I too. would be about five foot six. Um. Uh, and I'm 130 pounds, and I am in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Is it a very stylish wheelchair? <clears throat> it is. It's in um, character art. For a oh yeah, I did see a picture of it. Yeah, I see, yeah, it's very stylish. <laughs> Christian, how does it do on the sound? It does very well, actually. Slightly magic. Probably, probably better than you. I don't think I was being rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, Phil. Accidental rudeness does happen. <laughs> Pup dragon. <laughs> it is going to happen very yeah, yeah. a lot. <laughs> oh dear! What did we get ourselves into, sister? <laughs> Nothing worse than what our parents were into. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lynn. All right. Um, my name is Vix. I appear to you all as a regular human with... Wait, what uh, do you mean appear to us all? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, but she's having an aside. We have to pretend to not to hear yes. her. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. I didn't read the script, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right now. Wait, this is scripted? Where's mine? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you need to your wheelchair. The script? I emailed it to you. Oh, I oh, oh. It. oh, sorry, I lost my oh, phone. Oh, oh, it's magic? What is this email? No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, We're off to a great start. I'm just gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's episode of Cynical Mole. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Fantastic. Oh, no. Damn, this is Jane. So, <laughs> Vix, what do you look like again? I um, am a woman of just like regular, regular woman. And then I am about. <laughs> Five. Making it awkward for me now, Masters. Thanks. Um, I what he's here for? Just a re totally regular woman. It's fine. <laughs> fine. There's no suspicion here. I am a regular woman. What you like to see, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Pay no oh, attention to the boy. woman behind the curtain. <laughs> oh god. She's actually, she's actually two knolls in a. <laughs> sitting on a rock going, if I only had a brain. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, it's a cobalt. 
That's what I meant. Oh no, that's like, we're gonna we're gonna TPK in the first session. All right. <laughs> yep. Yep. So so we're not even gonna have a battle. Who is so I'm gonna be doing uh, character Three introductions. Go ahead and make a perception check. <laughs> All right. What? See that we're getting off to the start. <laughs> you need a twenty, or you're dead. <laughs> okay, so you're a regular woman. I'm a regular woman. Uh, regular, no, regular. <laughs> I have a long black hair that's tied into a braid on my back, and I have green eyes. Uh, I stand at about five foot seven, and I weigh 130 pounds. Um, I have a scar through my lip, and I am wearing a cloak that is buttoned down um at the middle of my chest going down um and it has uh, white uh, fur around the around the collar um cool. and, then, <laughs> and then i have white white cuffs along my sleeves um and yeah that's that's me fix no last name <laughs> thank the lord <laughs> no, it's the first name. Mother and I stole it from her. <laughs> Our last names were her last name. We had to split them up. Mm -hmm. She had a really long name. It took us forever. I don't know why I went German all of a sudden. <laughs> Which campaign is this again? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've moved into an earlier body. Please don't make me go <laughs> French. <laughs> Magic sheets. Oh no. <laughs> Lord. Okay. Hmm. So the only one left is Jared. Me. Yep. Carol yeah, Wesley. I think so. Standing at five foot four and weighing 151 pounds. This Time? you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All out. He coming. You. But... You're as round as you are tall. <laughs> <laughs> you see a rather. What's your height and weight again? Uh, five foot four, 151. Okay. He weighs more than me, and I'm six inches taller than him. <laughs> I've had a good life. Yes, okay. but you don't really have any muscle on you. Uh, I am a, I am a moon elf with hazel eyes, pale blue skin, and sort of a dirty silverish hair. Uh, should get that washed. <laughs> Not sure uh, I can have my hair, brother. Uh, he is wearing uh, vestiges of befitting his status as a priest at the Temple of the Moonweaver. Uh, they are black with uh, various splotches of silverish, uh, silverish materials shaped into a. Uh, various, you know, symbols of the Moonweaver, like arrows, and especially crescent moons. And around his neck is one of his most valuable possessions, uh, the amulet that he received when he was inducted into the clergy, uh, <coughs> detailing the holy symbol of Sehenin, the Moonweaver. And his name, this elf, is Vuxari Isildorn. At your service. May I call you Vux? That's right, we have a... Uh, yes. Vax, Vix, Vux, and... You may call me Vux. <laughs> and, Vux. and Vix, don't forget your sister. That... Nope. That was deaf. <laughs> um, um, uh... Mr. Dragonborn, sir, what do we call you? Uh, you Chuck. may call me Chuck. <laughs> what if we call you Vox? <laughs> I don't know why you would do that. I was I was actually thinking Vikes. Some, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I will kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to keep the chaos. I will, I, I will I, make the streets of Ankarel run red with your blood. Blood. I <laughs> not be a death. I'm not sure I have not all of our blood my runs red. My my blood is, is not red. Nope. My close friends call me um Vox. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Yeah, we're not that close, actually. <laughs> you know. Well, would you like to get off this bridge? 
Yeah. Yes, would you like yeah, to jump in? I was walking when I was giving my description. I don't know why you guys all stopped. <laughs> I gave no description. Oh, oh, right, right, right. We're not supposed to hear the fourth wall. Where? There's no yeah, wall on this all, bridge. All you know, what are you all talking about? You know see, Mother taught me to see in other dimensions. It's a skill I've learned. I push Vex over the rail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was the blood. Why did you? <laughs> why did you push my sister over the rail? <laughs> because she's the one who um, weighs like ten pounds. That's yeah. true. Sweet. She is the easier of the two. I mean, really, the wind at this point could just yeah. The updraft will probably shove you off. If I have not, the gun. If the gun weighs me rail. down. <laughs> <laughs> Like you just like like one day you forget and you just set that thing down at your feet and you just start to float upwards. Just, <laughs> just tie yourself to the I wheelchair. Had you told me you got rid of the levitation spell. <laughs> I should have had cursed boots of levitation as my uncommon item. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how, wait, how do you guys have all your, like, stats? I don't have my D&D Beyond stuff on here. Do, do I? I can't tell. There's a no, thing. It's, it's not on roll 20. But then, how, then how do I we'll go use about doing We use Beyond. Oh, how do I connect it to, my, to the roll 20? Or how do I oh, do we, my... have, we have to use uh, an extension. It's a browser extension. In Chrome. See, I don't know how to Firefox. do that. Firefox. Some can't of us do are off an elevated race. Phones. Whoa. What I yeah, have. Phone, that's the problem. He's both. Was there an L in that both? I, I also no. so, sometimes use Edge, but only for work. You mean internet to Ew, Get out! <laughs> I have a new computer, and the first thing I did was download Firefox and take Edge off my toolbar. Mm -hmm. That's the first here. thing I always do. That's the only thing you use Edge for, unless you have a program that only opens with Edge that you have to do your timesheets in that gets really important. I oh, speaking of timesheets, time I should sheets. do that. Maybe you should be working at that job. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey. Forget meds check. We need a timesheet check. <laughs> only on Fridays. <laughs> my work sends out. No, I have to do it. I have to do it every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. anyway, I can put in my timesheets on Monday. Luckily, <clears throat> are we? Are we walking over a bridge? What is this? Time sheet you guys keep talking about. Well, Mother likes us to keep a log on what we do on diplomatic missions. Yes. Father likes She's very strict. I can shoot my gun. <laughs> this just very quickly became an acquisitions incorporated campaign. <laughs> Please. So we're walking across. So we're walking across a bridge, and none of us can be serious to save our life. What's Can't happening? Go over it. <laughs> Um, well, you're not you're that rhyme again. Um, you're being led back to the shrine of uh, the Storm Lord um, That's what we're by um, one of um. Oh my gosh, my train of thought just crashed. Is it Old Earl? Uh, by Zayim. <laughs> one of Can his. You that? his... Zayim. Yeah. Z a y i m. No, Z a. -E. Okay, we have notes for this campaign, don't we? Um, we should. But the, um, the messenger's name is Sonny. <laughs> and he is, uh, he is leading Did you say you Sonny? Sonny. Yep. Okay. Monkey, can you put the notes back in, um, players only <clears throat> and I'll pin it? I think it's pinned. It's not. <laughs> totally done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll pin it for you, though. So, have we decided who's going to be the voice of the group? The one with the shortest name. <laughs> that would be okay my name. shorter than my brother's. Who, who has uh, only no, by a few letters? Me, or it could be Vix. Somebody <laughs> says really She doesn't even have a last name, so technically, by default. Yeah. Okay, so Sonny is leading you all back to the, um, oh no, my baby's about to cry. I can tell. Uh-oh. 
to uh, the Shrine of the Stormlord. And whenever you all uh, arrive, uh, <coughs> do I have, I think I have a picture for that. I might have a picture for that. Hold on. Uh, nope, I don't. Never mind. Forget what I said. Don't have one. Um, <laughs> uh, it's very nice, and you can tell that recently it has been sort of um, redecorated and cleaned and spruced up, and they have um, gone through a lot of effort as you come in and see, um, and you can still see that there's some scaffolding um, up along the far walls. They have, they have come in and done their best to uh, make it look uh, very nice, sort of uh, a tribute uh, to the Stormlord for um, restoring the oasis. Um, standing there is a um, older looking uh, human man, um, dark skin, graying hair, um, clean shaven, um, surprisingly enough, which is uh, certainly from where most of you are from is, is rare enough um, for uh, human, but certainly here um, in Ankarel, uh, typically men tend to sport um, longer, uh, fuller beards. And this is Zayim, and he is the um, the head elder. Uh, and he currently uh, leads the uh, Yazima. Have we met the... this person before? You have. You have met uh, Zayim on uh, several different occasions. Um, mostly his task has simply been to lead uh, the Yazima, which is the Party of Perseverance. Um, but here recently he was named uh, the Head Elder, and therefore sort of acts as much like in a modern government, much like a chief executive would. Um, sort of the day-to-day -day management of things that are going on right now in the government are sort of handed top down from him. Um, is a de facto leader at this point. Um, and he stands there uh, in the center sort of anticipating um, your arrival. Uh, I'm going to look I at will... him and bow my head and say, be pleased. I, I will take a deep bow. Yeah. Greetings, I Zahim. Also... I'll nod my head. I will also I'll nod my head as well. A pleasure, as always. And he he returns a very deep and formal uh, bow. Yes, be pleased to you as well. It is good that you have come. I am glad Sonny was able to bring you so quickly. Unfortunately, there has been a um, uh, an emergency at hand. There has Is been it the mafia. I hate you so much. <laughs> you come to me on this, the day of my daughter's wedding. Oh my god. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> well, we're getting team Kate. <laughs> we already knew that. <laughs> I'm just expediting it. Why do I imagine you're just, Mafia you're just is allowing Cobalt. this to happen? <laughs> <sighs> You know, I'm just trying to run a campaign, y'all. I'm just doing a voice. Hey, my 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 wizard's just sitting in a wheelchair listening to people talk. I don't know what y'all's problem is. <laughs> I thought this was an honest question. I was just asking if it was the mafia. I don't what is the mafia? What is the mafia? My name is Vax. I, it's often to get us confused like that. It's fine. Yes, I'm the older one. I don't even remember the voice now. <laughs> it was I'm Russian. Not, it was even, very Russian. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mumbles it literally inserts himself into the campaign so he can kill us all. Yeah. Uh, hey, Mumbles, you want to go out? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he explains that uh, in the um, there's been a murder uh, in the River District. No. Um, Oh. Of someone who you have uh, also heard of. His name is Bahir. And, um, Any relation? He is currently the um, like the the second in command of the uh, Aliman uh, faction, which is the Party of Faith. 
Uh, do you well, have any about this ideas so of his whereabouts? I let you both talk to each other. She wants to know about the details of the murder. I want to know about the whereabouts of this person you spoke of. Right, so Dead. They, know, they know very little. <laughs> Oh, is that the dead person you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was, brother. Oh, sorry. I... Did your two brain cells finally bump together? They did, and, well, you know, they came <laughs> to the wrong conclusion, apparently. Uh, um, he, he knows very little. Um, the body has just recently been found. Um, just in the last couple of hours. Um, it was at the um, the room that he stays in um, at the Desert Flower. Um, and he was found uh, murdered there. Uh, Zayn doesn't know much more. Um, he's sort of just, he's been relayed this information and then immediately sent for you all. Um, because at, the, the, at various points through this past year, you all have crossed paths with Zayn for one purpose or another, whether that be for um, security reasons, whether that be to investigate matters um, uh, considered maybe above the capabilities of a typical member of the Hand of Horde, um, and in some cases it's been direct negotiations uh, between the different factions within the city to basically keep the government um, rolling along. So, uh, <clears throat> the group of you are uh, fairly well known, and mostly because uh, for the most part, you're you're outsiders uh, to the city. You're not necessarily from. Uh, you're not from. Ankara. So have we spent limited time um, time together as a group, like, or is it just we only have seen each other in meetings and stuff, and that's it? Yeah, uh, f for the most part, your your interaction has been just uh, very um, transactional and professional. Um, spending time together as a whole, as uh, the counselors, the Mushtar, um, has really just been you all being in the same tavern at the same time. Uh, and that's Do we have no combat experience, experience together? Certainly not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do these so people we, know we're... about guns? We are <laughs> a second question. Um, I do. They do, although they're um, within Ankarel, they're fairly rare. Although the technology has, of course, begun to make its way across the sea. Yes, so father's not very happy about out. that. Um, they're not very it's common. Probably your fault, sister. Certainly the higher up within the government and the military that you go in the city, the more familiar they are with the technology. <laughs> Can you take us to this murder scene? Or direct us there. Of course, I'll have uh, I'll have Sunny take you. Thank you, Zayn. Of course. Yes, it is a great honor to serve you once again. I appreciate your uh, your help in this matter. Be pleased. Be pleased. Be pleased. Be pleased. Be pleased. Okay. Right, well, we're all in the cult. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't say be pleased. I'm not in a cult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You, you have your own stuff to deal with. I've got a gun. <laughs> i got a gun as well. That, that is your cult. Yeah, Fair enough. Nice. cult, literally. <laughs> Rip and tear. Until it is done. has <laughs> got a gun. Funny, because I'm a blood... So, Sonny, are you taking us to too. Philadelphia? Oh my god! Hey! I'm <laughs> done with this already! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh. So, Mubbles, what does this murder scene look like? Uh, we're trying we're to get there. there yet. <laughs> we'll have to walk through the city streets. Oh, God. Is there going to be a carnival? I do love a good carny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this close, man. I'm this close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to actually make it through a couple sessions before we have to call it. <laughs> as we, 
as we start to head through town, I'll look at Bix and I'll say, would you mind helping me guide my chair? I don't want to run into anybody. Yes, of course. And I, and I stand behind her and uh, push her wheelchair to help her along. Okay. So um, you make your way from um, the Shrine of the Storm Lord back across the bridge. And as you make your way through town, you pass through what is... Um, the market street not the, the uh, not the bazaar in the Dark. city oh of course well, that would just be large. strange um oh, God. a little bit kill him now kill him now <laughs> what the fuck oh now from his Man. father in Caldore because of these puns uh i'm i'm going to cast silence is that okay <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cast the full body bind curse. I'm gonna cast um, STFU at ninth level. <laughs> the full body bind curse is gonna put four difficulty on your check. By the way. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I can see we're gonna roll at disadvantage a lot. This is this is like so normally the DM gives you inspiration and I guess the only thing for players to give back is being uh is giving a making me demoralized. I guess that's it. <laughs> giving you puns. Giving you you know, giving you headaches. I'm I'm giving you culture. I miss yes. Ellen. I never thought I'd miss like the one with four charisma, but I do. Oh. <laughs> we have five strength, it's a very similar feeling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're heading through town. Yes, that's so the bazaar. I see. Heading I see, through uh, the Market Street into the River District. Um, so, so I see Spec struggling with the rifle, and I'm like, "Do you need me to carry that?" <laughs> I'm not struggling with the rifle. I am underweight still <laughs> because of my <laughs> bag of holding. You are struggling what? a small bit. Didn't have to tell them. I'll be fine. That they can see nice your veins you popping out of your legs. <laughs> I'm wearing pants, bro. <laughs> I know that's how bad it is. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, I'll look over at Micro's character. Uh, <laughs> Micro's character. <laughs> Who's that? Wait, wait, no, I know. Wait. Uh, um, Max, would you? Like my chair to carry anything for you? No, I'm good. I can carry it myself. I'm not as weak you as my sister. That was Vex. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> I'm looking at Micro's character and I'm saying, Vax, would you like to put anything in my wheelchair to carry? It has a compartment. No, I'm good. I can carry my stuff. I'm not as weak as my sister. It's true. He's not what? as weak as me. I mixed oh. your name up here, didn't I? I'm sorry. Yes, you did. That's Indeed, I am Vexel Don Frame von Musa Morello. Oh my lord, I'm in well, character, well, you guys. I did it on purpose. And I responded in character. What do you want? I'm talking to Dane. <laughs> oh my I'm god. I'm turning my okay. race back. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm... Oh. 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 I'm going to mute my mic for a second, but it's totally not, y'all. No. So like I'm totally telling you the plan of how I'm TBKing you guys right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I've mixed your names up again. Vex, would you like me to carry anything on, on my chair for you? It has a compartment. I've got this. I've also got a compartment. It's called a bag of holding. She stole it from oh, my mother. I've heard of just like she stole the gun. Stick basically anything in there. Technically, I took the mother from mother and the money from mother, and I went to Gilmore's and bought the bag of holding. The gun, I didn't steal it from father. Did he say you could have it? He said I might be able to take it with me. <laughs> and you and took I that as a yes. took that as a yes. Yes, yes, brother. I took it as a yes. You know, you should always listen to your parents. I'm gonna just look back at Vix and be like, "Trust me, we don't have a choice not to." Sadly, he's correct. Look, I'm just gonna look back at Vix and be like, 
they're all idiots. Our parents have very powerful friends. If we do not obey them, they come looking for us. I'm going to look at Aurorissa and say, I'm beginning to think that as well. <laughs> and I look at everybody and I go, I very much agree, but I'm just going to keep to myself now. <laughs> um, I look to Aurorissa and, and I say, shh, I'm supposed to say that stuff out loud for them to hear. Fine. Well, Sonny, lead on. <laughs> He's just like gone. He's dead. This is <laughs> our campaign started, now. Yep, while we started, campaign now. Our campaign is us just making fun of each other. <clears throat> oh. I'm sorry, what are we doing? We're still okay, following anyway. Sonny through the bazaar as we talk. It's not no, bizarre. it's, it's not, not the bazaar. It's the market. It's not the bazaar. Marketplace. We are following Sunday through the marketplace. The market street, but no one heard that part. I wrote it down. It says in the notes, market it says street. the market street, and then the next column it says not the bazaar. And I also said that you got to the end, but no one heard that part either. I didn't hear that part. I nope. was sitting right <laughs> over there. That's why right. we, uh, we took a we and took that's a, why the uh, scene changed. Side, took a side route, and then now we're now we're here. What that's was, why the scene changed. What was the name of the inn, Mumbles? The Desert Flower. Ooh, pretty. As we walk in, I go, hmm, this is very nice architecture. <laughs> Where was the body sound? It is empty as pictured. It has been cleared out. There's there's no one here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I believe it's time to do our jobs here, sister. Indeed. And Investigate the I... work. I will start looking around, looking for any kind signs of blood. Or any disheffelment. Anything that looked like it was moved and then moved back. Scuffs on the floor. I will go upstairs and do the same thing. I'm going to okay, look so at some. Sure. And say, so, who is, so who is going to examine this room and then who is just going to make their way to the room where he's actually murdered? I'm examining this room. Right. I'm following Sonny. Who, who is going where? So um, is, uh, I'll make Marvel's, my way. I'm going is to the room that he was actually murdered in. Here anymore? Uh, like, so you said gonna... nobody. Sorry. <clears throat> Making my way downtown. <clears throat> I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay with Vax. Okay. So where is the? Um. So you said there's nobody here. None of the in workers. Nobody's here at all. No, it's 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 been completely cleared out here on the lower level. Okay. Might as well go around. in the room where uh, where this uh, person was murdered. I look to Vux and I ask him where he would like to go. I'm I'm heading back to see where he was murdered. I follow him. I'm following Sonny. Okay. Um. So here in the main room. Where are you going to look first? Sort of, sort of describe to me. You've you've told I me what slowly, you're sort of where and yeah, I slowly make a spiral around the outside, working my way in. And I'll um, I'll do the same, but go opposite. Well, and um, I would I'll assist him. Okay. Is Unless the body you know, not it, here anymore? Is that it's the, in the other room. roll for this? Yes, that is the <clears> Or would you like me to roll my own? <laughs> Actually, I don't need an investigation roll. Okay. So you're going to spiral, you're going to work your way from the outside in, sort of spiral in. So as, as you do that, <laughs> you begin to make your way through, you get the feeling that you're not going to find anything. There doesn't seem to be scuff marks, blood, anything out of place. In fact, it's the opposite. Everything seems to be in place. Everything has been pushed back, moved to where it would originally be. It, it has been put back in its original sort of pristine condition here on the first floor. 
Mm. Okay. It is, is there... not. You get the sense that it, that it did not look this way an hour ago. Yeah. But there's no sort of mm. trace so... evidence that you notice, but you do this realize is... that the room has been rearranged. Uh, while I'm looking around, do I see any like rodents or anything running around? You do not. So uh, there's this... no blood on the floor or nothing? Um, hold on. We're in the front room. Who oh, all went... Who... Yeah. It... Vax and I are in the front room. Did everyone else go into the back room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. else went to the room where the body was. Okay. So we're in the front room. I'm going to look at him and say, Do you find it odd that it's all perfect? Odd? No. Um... But that's because I've seen these kinds of things before. You have? Yes. People cleaning up after cool. themselves, doing uh, too good of a job, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's so, only yeah. uh, a matter of time that we uh, find the one thing they didn't get right. Sounds good. Should we head back, or should we stay out here? I think my sister can take care of herself. We'll stay here in case anybody dilly-dallies around. Uh, plus, I'm trying to find some sort of uh, house guest that could be of use. Okay. While you're also both standing in the room, while everyone would be in the back examining that one, sort of at the same time, because, you know, you're meticulously making your way through. Mm -hmm. yep. Both of you, go ahead and just roll for me um, a perception check. Ten for me. Okay. Just enough. You've both been here to the Desert Flower before. You sort of are familiar with the workings of it. It is certainly one of the nicer um, sort of, of inns um, to visit. You know that they don't serve any sort of, like they don't serve ale or um, any sort of hard liquors here. This is uh, very much um, wine and water and uh, a place mainly where people just come to sit and smoke <coughs> and socialize. Do they have Thoreau wine? You also, because of that, and because you've been here and know these things, something clicks in your minds for a second, and you recognize that the incense that is being burned is different. <coughs> They've changed it. It's not the same scent that it normally is when you're in here. Do you smell that? And it's overpowering a bit. It's... <coughs> is, it... is it the incense? Uh, yes, it's not the usual lilac. Mm. Do, do we you, recognize Do you recognize that? <laughs> uh, you did not, not quite high enough to recognize the specific scent. Just that it's different. Uh, no, I... I don't recognize it. It's But it's incredibly strong. Sister! We can skip to them now while I call out for my sister. Yeah. <laughs> You're breaking the fourth wall again. Um, what? Fourth oh wall? God. No, this is this is where we just have a, a flash to the other scene. Yeah, so we're rewinding in time to when they oh. walk through the door to the murder scene. I know. So, <laughs> the room. <laughs> So, I'm obviously not going to put gore in this room. Aww. Let's just oh. let's just go ahead and do it. I dare you. <laughs> I'm not. Do it. So We're you all friendly. are led by Sunny up to the room, and standing there at the doorway uh, is uh, the man you know who owns the Desert Flower, um, and his name is Zion, uh, and he is a <laughs> really. Just really. Oh like, my god. What goodness. a string. What? Silly string. <laughs> <laughs> you could have at least done it in the shape of a body. It, it is. It's an aberration. It's, it's a gnome. Oh no, let me just load up my fake <laughs> let me load up my fake Instagram <laughs> post. Oh my god. <laughs> 
You um, said the name of the owner was Zion? But yeah, put Zion. It in the chat. Zion. Got it. Yep. Uh, and he is a um, rather sort of uh, tall, heavy set. Um, he too, he has um, like olive skin, uh, and is a uh, and is um, half elf. Uh, and he's standing there in the doorway as Sunny brings you up, and you sort of you come up to the door, and that's when you glimpse in, and. Uh, but here is in three pieces. You see, you did it wrong, Masters. Uh, his head is on the desk. Mm. Uh, the upper body is in the chair, and mm. the lower half on the floor. It's the on the floor. And that is how you find him. But it. There's two things that catch you all right away. First is the smell. It's not bad. It smells like flowers. Like the flowers when they first bloom by, in the gardens in the city. The second thing that strikes you is that while you have all seen people cleaved apart, there is not a drop of blood on the floor that is there's not there's no pools of blood in fact I know it looks like any... the body has been drained of it but I know <laughs> of any creatures that would be able to do this beyond just like vampires let's mm, that's interesting let's make a nature check will this help me with it Would I have advantage because of that? Uh, yes, actually, not just because. Let's just say, even just who you are in your background. Let's let's give you advantage on this roll. Okay. That's oh, money. that's one dollar away from extra life. We take <laughs> that money now. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh. So, and here, here's why I said that. So, as you as you take a like. You're very, you have a trained eye for looking at this sort of scene, specifically wounds, right? Because that's where you're going to be able to tell the most about a creature that would have done this. And you're looking and you can see where, you know, the separation is, right? The head there at the bottom of the neck where it's been cut. You can see uh, on the top, the upper half, right? These are not jagged animal wounds this doesn't appear to be claws of a creature these look like very very precise blade cuts and when you say the head's on the desk and you said the, the lower half is on the floor do they uh, look like they fell or like is it placed there okay like was he sitting are you in the chair examining it? Are you examining it from the doorway? I would be stepping inside as I saw this. Okay. Uh, well, I'm in the door. I'm just like, is it like is the head right. upright, like sitting on the okay. neck, or is it like off the uh, like laying down somehow? I'm just making sure. Okay, we're gonna get to that then. Okay. This is this is so what what I'm doing now is just your initial glance from the door into the room. Is there something that you're trying to pick out? If you're trying to pick out that, you really can't tell from where. You're. Okay. Uh, okay. And I'm stepping into the room as I'm remembering all of these things about sure. wounds. Sure. And as, so it's as you go to step in that Zion sort of, not to restrain you, but just sort of reaches out a hand and touches you on the arm and looks at him. Not that it would be hard. Please do not touch anything. I, I'm a professional. Because I, I do not need any more mess. I have to clean it all up so so you cleaned this all up then that's why there's no blood uh, y yes yes I, I cleaned the, the blood, blood would have been helpful not going to lie well I still have the um, I have the rags would that help well blood spray what type of weapon was used to kill him um, where was he attacked from um, it would have been able to 
help me track the killer also. Well, you should never um, clean up a crime scene. There was there was not much blood, it, but th there was blood. I mean, not as much as I would have thought, but there was blood. So I just I cleaned I I run a business to be clean. I, I understand. We have people here who can clean that up though, with magic, not with rags. Um, did you also do the smell? No, the smell was not me. Okay. It was like that when I came in. With that, I will just kind of gently push past him and step inside. Okay. Yeah, he was certainly not restraining you anyway, just wanted to let you know before you went. You, okay, you, all, you all have... Them. I will immediately touch something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. No, well, I'm, not, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not touching anything. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and, and just, just as a note here, like with some, I mean, whenever you have been sent on something from, uh, from Zaim, um, and also for the record, Zaim is... Um, a title, not a name. Good to know. So we know. Name is just it. Is, that is the name that you take as the head elder, and whatever name you had before, see, you are just you are Zaim, and whoever you were before ends. No Do one we... refers to you by that name. No one remembers that name. You cease to be that person when you take the title of Zaim. So once you've been given their, once they have tasked you with something. You get the feeling that the rest of the people sort of stay out of your way as you do things. And it's, is it the Zaim or just Zaim? Uh, every, you would never refer to them as the Zaim. Uh, it's just Zaim. But it <laughs> technically it is the. But no one would say that because there's only. It's one. like the Gray and Fox from Oblivion. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it is the Zaim, but there's only ever one, so Zaim suffices. Okay, so uh, Dane's also going to walk in. Okay. Um, it's a very so cramped you said, space. So, so you said you cleaned the blood, but you did you move the body? Did you place the head up there? Like, why would you no, clean would the I, blood but nothing else? Why would I touch you? I do not touch the dead. I just cleaned the blood. It bothered me. So I clean where it. was the blood at then? Where, like, you know, where there... was the blood? He sort of like gestures with his with his hands, sort of in like a, just like a like a like a sweep, like a uh, wax on, wax off type movement with his hand, like there around his 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 legs and such. That's where the blood was. Is the window okay, open so... when we walk in? It is. Was there any blood on the window? No, I did not clean the window. Just the floor around his legs. Is this first floor or second, second floor? floor? Second second floor. floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go look outside the window? Um yeah, just very, very carefully step over the, the bottom like the legs. But yes, you can look out the window. Uh if I I'm going to crouch down over the legs and just kind of inspect the wound just a little bit more. Okay. So your focus is on the wound. What in particular are you looking for in the wound? Are you uh, trying to so, identify a weapon? Not exactly. Um, I know it was a bladed weapon um, right. that had to cut him. I want to see if um, with the smell, with the... Um, lack of blood uh, and just with everything else does the wound look like it would have been made of made by um, some sort of sylvan craftsman some sort of sylvan craftsmanship uh, is it like that clean or is um, it something right that is that is an excellent question so let's roll. So I'm getting the feeling this isn't undead. 
And so the other two things are going to be that I would assume, because uh, this does seem like some sort of supernatural murder, are fiends or uh, fae in some regard. I and want you fiends to... would not leave the smell behind. I want you to make an intelligence check at advantage. Just a your, general. Adding your proficiency bonus. Okay, so I'll roll investigation then, because that adds it. Okay. 16. Okay, 16. As you're examining it, and you're, and you're looking at it, it doesn't seem so much that the that the blade would have to be incredibly sharp as you look at the wound. But what you can tell by how the bottom half was separated from the top half, you see it, it is straight through with a little bit of, of what's the word I'm looking for? You can see where the blade initially met resistance at the beginning of the wound, going right. But then to it left. just cut cleanly. Right. Through. So this was a this was a large weapon that could be. It's it was heavy and was swung with an incredible amount of strength because it essentially cleaved him in half the body in half there. Okay. Not that last it was sharp enough to go through, but it just. Okay. So last question, because this is what I'm doing as people are doing other things. Mm -hmm. Are the wounds parallel? Does it look like this was two wounds from, like, dual weapons or a weapon that had, uh, like, two blades attached to it? Or does it look like this was a cut and then a cut in the opposite direction? It was, it was one blade, one cut, through. That cut him into three pieces? Oh, well, you're, you're talking about at the... Yeah, as I'm, as I'm, like, looking at both pieces I got you. now. I got you. It, yeah, so, so good there as well with that. Whatever cut the bottom half, cut the top awesome. half in exactly the same way. But at the same angle, like, from right to left. So it looks like it was probably two weapons that came down at the same time. No, it looks way. to you like the head was separated first, and then they probably separated the top half of the body from the bottom. Okay. okay. Like, so he was intentionally cut with the same blade. In the same blade. direction. Right, right. Like, off with the head, and then body down, and then cleave the body in half. And are there any marks in the back of the chair? Uh, surprisingly, no. So there's no, there's no marks on the floor. Nowhere where that blade contacted any other surface. Nope. This appears to be ritualistic in some way. There, we, which, which, those of which one of uh, of you all are in? The the faith faction, the Aliman. Me. It would be me. Okay. Him. I want you both to roll uh, intelligence checks. Add your proficiency bonus. Or one of you can assist the other. Doesn't really matter. You can put your heads together on if one of you wants to roll at advantage. So. Uh, it's up to you. I rolled. Uh, I'll give you advantage. All right, I will roll again. Thank you for that. Uh, Twenty <laughs> total, not natural. Okay. Nice. As you look at this, and you're you're starting to think this looks ritualistic in nature, and then you kind of start a, a picture begins to come back into your mind of the shrine of the Stormlord and what it looked like before. And as a member of the Aliman, you specifically remember all the different ways that Saman the Wise attempted to entice the gods to restore the Oasis. The offering that was made um, to Kord was a human one <laughs> and as you look at the table all you can in this room all you can see is an altar and as you look at the chair all you can see is a pedestal and you look at the floor and in your mind's eye it looks like the stone floor of the shrine 
This is ex this is arranged in exactly the way that the offering to the Storm Lord was. I look over at Vux. Do you do you recognize any of what you see here? I must admit, it looks it looks like a makeshift altar, perhaps. Yes, yes, this but, is what I see as well. But I can't quite tell what it's supposed to, what the purpose is. I mean, maybe this person was just very into their faith. Can't quite tell. But we already we already got the reins back. We, w when did we get the reins back? Was it? It was last year, wasn't it? Was it? No, it was, when was it? No, it's it's, it's, like it's a, been literally a week. Like a week or two. Yeah. It's been a week. A week. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's been a week. Um, but this has not been like this for a week. I look over it. Uh, Zayn, Zayn. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying mm -hmm. at all. Yes, I'm. Zayn. I'm saying. If this is a sacrifice. Was this the bargain that was struck with the Storm Lord? I was under the impression that that bargain was already done. Indeed. You don't offer just one sacrifice to your god, do you? You go there, religiously for lack of a better word, and mm. continue to offer. My god requires no sacrifice. The same as mine. I look at us to, to make Mary. religion. I, can, I can't. It's like I understand it, but I don't much care for it. Uh, understandable. Which of you are in the uh, the Yazima, the party for person, the the faction for perseverance? Me, I am. Okay. Um, and Ducky, but she's not in the room. Okay, mm -hmm. I also and would Ducky's like not you. In the campaign. I would like you to roll me a um an intelligence check. At advantage, add your proficiency bonus. Plus two for your proficiency bonus. Well played. So, yeah. 24. Okay. So you remember that um, Bahir was very much the the second in charge uh, of the Yazima. And there's something about uh, this scene and Bahir that strikes you as you begin to sort of hear talk about maybe it's ritualistic. You remember that Bahir was very much dead set against the idea of offering any sort of physical, like making a blood sacrifice to the Storm Lord. In fact, in very much making true to the name of the faction that he worked with within the city and the one of the five, the, the pillars of the city, um, he believed that you all could simply wait out the drought, that eventually the rain would return. And he was dead set against making really any sort of appeasement to the gods, and certainly not a blood offering to them. So he and I uh, have gotten along well. <laughs> uh, I look hmm. over to uh, the rest of the group. Um, I'm not in the room fully, but I am standing near the doorway, and I kind of look to them, and I'm like, this reminds me... Uh, how do you pronounce his name? I'm sorry. The... I can't say that right. The the, the guy who's dead. By here. By here. Mm -hmm. um, but here, he was very, he was adamant on not sacrificing things to the Storm Lord. He, in, in fact, he was so adamant. He, he was so preached. He preached about it. He, it was very known to everyone that he did not want this. And so, he didn't want any sacrifices made to the Stormlord. I, I just remembered, so maybe that's a motive as to why. There were quite a few people who were not happy about this. This one, uh, Zion kind of 
kind of looks over a shoulder back into the room and goes, you know, um, he was very um, angry when he came in to stay uh, a few days ago. Um, normally he is, you know, in and out as he works, but um, with the celebrations going on, he was rather down, rather uh, much angrier than I'm used to seeing him. Um, in fact, it when he went into this room, it was it was three days ago. He and said he was not to be disturbed. He would come out when the when he was ready. To, um, but it uh, it just so happened that um, the uh, the room next door um, complained about some some noises and uh, said something smelled of. Uh, Rather strong perfume, and wanted me to look. How at and, uh, how long ago were those noises? They said two nights ago, and then so the strong happened. perfume. But um, I really did not want to disturb him. But um, you, you kind of when you came in, the blood was ahead. dry then. Um. No. It was two nights ago that they were complaining about the noises. Did you see anyone leave in or out of this room? He he they sort of through he, the window. He very quickly excuses himself, walks down the hall, and comes back with you can see what is, looks like the blood stained rags, and you can tell just by the way he's holding them as he comes up. They are they are still wet, and I did not wet them. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Reach out and just touch the blood and lick it. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> I've it's tasted blood sister. quite a bit. So is that is there something like off about this that I can taste? Because I I bite my lip a lot to start bleeding for my stuff. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Roll me... Oh, gosh. Medicine? No, not for Perception? this. Perception? Can I assist by smelling it? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes. So, here's what we're gonna do for the assist. So, I want you to roll a nature check. At advantage... And you're also, because as he's tasting, you're going to add five to this roll. Okay. 25. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And Red with that, so weird. you're kind of, there. there's something as you taste it, it's like, you oh definitely know it's not, you know, it's not human. It's not I, elven. I will say I'm also proficient in alchemist supplies, if that helps. Yeah. So, Me? like, you're you're trying to put it together, and then that's when Chuck walks over and smells it, and he looks at you, and you look at him, and you both place it at the same time. That's dragon's blood. What? The the, the storm lord he takes a he takes the form of a dragon, doesn't he? A massive sky dragon, serpentine. He does. Yes. But why would his own blood be on that rag? Or a dragon's blood, for that matter? Chuck, when, uh, when dragon's blood... Oh. We lost dragons... you. No, I'm, I'm in okay. character right now. Sorry. <laughs> when dragon's blood is... drank by a human, what are the, what are the side effects by it? Well, it's it's not something that's done very often. Mumbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Unless, of course, it is something that's done very often, in which case, mumbles. Mumbles. <laughs> oh, <Hello. laughs> I love when Monkey does that. Just, I'm oh, very oh, sure of the do. answer of this. Mumbles? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> I'm 
I'm actually trying to think of the way to answer that. Yes, me too. So, <laughs> did, he, so did he consume the blood, or was he actually just... Did, he might have been... We're just trying to figure out how that blood got these... here. What does the paper say? Can someone look at that? Well, I think... I'll give it a look-see. So... Dragon's blood. You were born a child of dragons. <laughs> Do you have to fear? <laughs> Ocelot. Oh, God. No. Oh, Ocelot. Ah, oh, oh, you ignorant slaves. You've finally <laughs> taken notice, have you? Of my beloved oh. Ocelot, child of dragons. So, Dragon's Blood That's real in, tough, in what... In, <laughs> so, Dragon's Blood in, in what you tasted, should that be consumed in an amount large enough to make you feel something um, would give you this incredible energy and enthusiasm and crystal clear focus and then completely crash your body. That's what it was. He stayed up for three days. Dragon's blood in its purest form when consumed in a large quantity would just destroy That was an easy murder you. to solve. Yes, but, but where would he have gotten the dragon's blood? And how would the dragon's blood have caused his body to split into three? The splitting into three is different. <laughs> That's, I mean, I, I figured, but... <laughs> go through, this is a lot of complicated factors all coming into one situation. If he wanted... Uh, well, we need to figure out what his notes said. And, and what makes you think he, he consumed it? Stop rolling my dice, though. <laughs> Simply a hunch that I have, but my hunches is are typically something correct. that caused his blood. To... There was enough blood there to soak three relatively good-sized rags, but then there was no other blood. It was just that blood. But you, right? But you, you can like you can look at the the legs what, what is not like what has said is not been cleaned there is no there is no blood on his legs yeah, he put it on the floor when you drink a poison the poison enters your bloodstream yes yeah and you drink dragon's blood it would too that's my assumption here at least i've never drank dragon's blood myself i don't intend but, on doing so that but there's no other blood here but that dragon blood. But his. His blood is tainted with the dragon's blood. You're saying it assimilated his own? Correct. That's my best assumption right now. Um, can I smell one of the wounds? Do I smell the same as on the rags. Oh, that's good. Hold on just one second. Roger, holding. <laughs> also, someone was looking at the uh, notes, I think. Yeah, yeah I was trying to... What was that? Also, I looked out the window at one point. I don't know if there's anything there or not. So how's everyone's day? <laughs> Good. I got a cat. A new hey. cat? No. Yeah, I mean, cat. I mean, I literally currently have a cat. Oh, I see. I see the cat. I see the cat. She's in, it, she's, in the the murder, she's in the murder scene right now. Oh, no. <laughs> did you get a haircut? She did it. I did get a haircut. Yeah. Have you sure yeah, you're straight yet? It. No, Stream's never seen my hair before, so it doesn't really mean anything to them. <laughs> Okay, please ask me your question again. Um, <laughs> when I smell the wound, any of the wounds, maybe all of the wounds, um, does it does it does it match what was on the rags? 
smelling the other wounds. Ah, uh, nope. Want to know what they smell like? Not really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you figure out that that's where the flower smells coming from. Ah. Uh. And, and that's not the same as, as with the rags. No, the rags smell just like dragon's horn. And it's very, it's a very strong, almost, if you could, if you could, it's a, maybe a hint of sulfur, but if you could smell metal. Let's... I do, when I get warm. Like a smell, it smells like metal so strong you can taste it. You get a metallic taste from smelling. I'm going to look at Vex. Um, stream deck buttons with names on them are useful. Um, <laughs> it, 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 I'm not sure that he actually ingested the blood because... I don't know what happened to my accent there. Just forget it. Um, <laughs> you, it was halfway between it was, Hagen it was and... It was, yeah. <laughs> um, but he is definitely... Uh, this is where the, the, the smell comes from. Um, but not... Not the dragon blood itself. I I don't think. So we're gonna... playing a smart character, monkey. I'm gonna. I have layers. Gonna lean here. down, and I will. I believe I have something for this. Hang on. And while he's doing that, mumbles. Did I see anything out the window that would seem odd in any way? No, but it gives you, it's a very um, beautiful view of the Market Street, where you've just come down. Have we reached the port of the investigation where um, I'm screaming We've... down at, up at my sister? I would say Back. right about right Back. about now, you can start hearing. Sister! Sister! Would you come second. down here for a moment? When... One second, there's a dead body up here still, brother. Yes, yes, we've seen those before. This one's interesting. Really? Maybe I should come up to you then. If you'd like. Uh, I'm going to look around. Does anyone have a, a, a rag? A, a clean rag, sorry. Clean rag. Um... Oh dear lord! This one's in pieces. Three, to be precise. I'll follow up behind him, and the most likely ritualistic climbs the stairs. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's nifty. Sorry, didn't mean to leave you down there. Does the flower smell match what's in the downstairs? No, no, it does not match the smell of the incense. I'm mm. gonna sigh as I see everyone just looking through their stuff for a rag, and I will walk I, over. I'm going to hand hand him a him? rag out of my comp her. Sorry, <laughs> a rag out of my component pouch. It's okay, just, it's not much, but well, you're probably not going to want to use it after this. I'll walk over to one of the wounds and very gently swipe along it, trying to get some blood on it, and then taste it. <clears throat> really. Blood tasting again. She yes, he's, he's done lots of that so far. She's Proven effective. Okay. That's what I said. There's not there's not much there. Yeah. But you don't need much. Um It does not taste like dragon's blood. My previous hypothesis was incorrect. Oh, again. <laughs> The point, the point of Inquisition and study is to but, be able to adjust your hypotheses. The first was hypothesis your... was he drank dragon's blood to stay up. However, the dragon's blood and his blood taste different. What does his blood taste like? They smell different, too. Speaking of smell, um, did any of you notice that when you came in, the scent incense downstairs is different? Looking over at... Um, Bra Brahir? Bahir. Bahir? Bahir is the dead guy. You're probably thinking... No, I'm, I'm thinking the innkeeper. Zion. 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 Um, Zion, did you change the incense downstairs? 
Yes, it, um... It was the only smell I could find that, um... Covered up the flowery perfume crap up here. Crap. <laughs> made it smell like cinnamon. Oh, mm. that was cinnamon! Jeez. Good choice. I haven't smelled that since I went into Mother's shop last. It is expensive, but considering how much the uh, the people in the room next door paid me to bother uh, Bahir, it was worth it to buy it. So, so, so anyway, determine... that solves that mystery. So, anyway, so back to... That... Oh, God. I was going to say back to the question I asked Vex, what does his his blood taste like? It's just normal blood, isn't it? Jim? Mm -hmm. It's yep. just normal. So he didn't ingest You normal or blood. everybody else normal? So everybody else normal. My dragon... blood is a little bit different, as you know, brother. So if well, he didn't you work ingest the dragon's wolf. blood, where did the dragon's blood come from? That's Perhaps the attacker? <laughs> the question, so Chuck. Right How... Um... Right. May I cast detect magic? Yeah, hold on. Dark would you like to do it as a question. ritual, or would you like to expend a spell slot? Dark Ducky, are you doing it ritually, or are you expending I a think, spell I slot? I think Vux was asking the question first. Yeah, yeah, I was putting him. Oh, in. Uh, uh, Chuck, uh, how similar are? How similar is the uh, basis of? Of the blood of dragons and dragonborn. You Vel Mobbles. <laughs> are, are you asking to drink his blood? No, I'm what I'm asking is perhaps the blood is from the attacker. Yes, that's perhaps the assumption. Um no. uh, so right. Good question. Fair. Um Dragonborn blood and dragon's blood do not taste similar at all. Mm. Um, it's, it's a very common misconception, actually. Yeah, it's kind of racist if understand. you think about it. Your friend are not actually dragons. Trying to be polite. Oh, I apologize, Dan. <laughs> didn't mean to offend. Oh, no, no offense, no offense taken. I don't know, I'm a little offended. <laughs> Someone was reading the notes, what did they say? Yeah, it was supposed to be reading. The, uh, while, no. uh, while they're talking and doing all this, I'm going to ritually cast Detect Magic. Okay. Okay. So that'll take about 10 minutes. Okay. 11. Great. No, 10 minutes. No, oh, yeah, about 10 minutes and 10, 6 seconds. About 10 minutes. <laughs> Identify takes 11. You're right. So I'm what not the really a magic say? user. Let me read them with my elf eyes. You're reading the notes on the desk? Yeah. Okay. What language are they in? Uh, a variety of languages. So you find that there's a, a, just a scattering of notes. And it, it looks, from what you can tell, that these are a bunch of pages that have been ripped from the same journal. But there's no journal binding left. There's just the loose pages. Um, there's notes in... Uh, Pages here in um, Common, Elvish, um, Sylvan, uh, Marquesian, Smattering. I can read those. I can read all of those. So, um, as you read through, many of them are just private, just the private writings of Bahir as he sort of documents and chronicles what the past year has been like as he has struggled to wrap his mind around the idea of sharing power with the four other factions you can tell as you peruse through these writings the language in them is very strong hmm. he certainly felt as if he was the one with the answers and he simply was not being listened to um i'll also note that to get to the the bulk of the writings you are pulling papers out from beneath the head just so we know okay. if you're examining the ones on the desk 
So... Well, only one place to go from here. And I jump out the window. <laughs> Does he do that a lot? I say Jeez, as I finish casting anything. Detect Magic. <laughs> Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> That's a tiny window, man. He's... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, so you go to you go to jump out the window and you hit your head on the top pane and you try <laughs> and fall back down and tumble and just I'm gonna reach out and catch just it. Just at the last second yeah, and you kinda get caught before you tumble back down onto the legs. Knocking the vase over and onto the floor. Oh. Is there anything in the vase? Flowers. Is there water or anything else in the water? What do the flowers smell like? <sighs> Uh, they smell like dandelions. Not the same smell. Not not the overpowering smell in the room. Like the smell in the room is not one flower you could pick out. It smells like a a freshly bloomed garden. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Hmm. Which of us was? Which of among us was? in the same pillar of perseverance as Bahir? Uh, no, me. You, he was he was faith. Oh yeah, he was faith. So that's me. He was? Yeah. But I remember. That was me. No, oh. He was second in faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I, I'm gonna ask you, I never really interacted with Bahir much. I mainly stayed with my own uh, faithful, but did you ever what, what kind of man was he? Was he strong of opinion and such? I know I've, I haven't really gotten to know him that well, unfortunately. Well, he and I actually uh, spoke fairly regularly. But, uh, we we agreed on a, on, on a great many things. Um, mumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we really man? gotta get him a backstory for all of this. <laughs> it is that that wouldn't have been in the backstory. Okay. I'm sorry. I this was, is where was you reading... make something up. It's called improvising. I was yeah. I was reading. I was reading through my notes. What was the question? Uh, how well I knew him and talked to him. I assume that I have talked to him because he and I seem to agree on many many uh, philosophies. You and Bahir? Yeah. Uh, Bahir would not talk to you for very long. Okay. Uh, he he very much kept to himself. Um, about the only times he would talk to you would be to tell you about some very strongly held opinion that he had and send you on your way to go tell someone else about it. Okay. I was relay it, that. Was it because it was a, he's a dragonborn? Or just... No, because no, that, that, is, no, no. that is my position here. That is what I'm here for. No, no. It, it never seemed to be a racial thing. Okay. It was simply a, a know-it-all thing. Okay. So, as um, Vax goes to try and jump out the window and fails miserably, and I finish casting Detect Magic, and I'm going to say... And I gently put Vax back on the, on the, on the ground. I'm going to say, thought you were supposed to be good at that. And what do I see, Mumbles? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbles? <laughs> Mumbles? I missed the play-by-post where y'all just do your own thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're doing that as well. I'm sorry, I don't know what magical things are in the mystery room that you've put us in. Just make it up, then. <laughs> Found a legendary <laughs> magical item. One well, well there's, there's a oh. faintly glowing mask that I have hidden under my hood. Uh, there's the bag at my waist. <clears throat> there's, the circlet, there's the circlet yeah. around my head. Okay. Ooh, a circlet of blasting. There's boots on my feet. Okay. Okay. Um, so as you look, um, you, the, the rags, um, light up at you. Uh, and it is the, it is, um, illusory. Illusory? Yep. Hmm. On the rags. I will say, I will say that. Does anyone have the spell? Because I don't think I do. Uh, if I'm it's gonna, an illusion, I'm going to look at Vex and say, 
would you still taste an illusion? Uh, it depends on how good of an illusion it is. Um, I'd like to take another taste, and I'm going to try to disbelieve what I first taste and try to see if there's something else. Okay, interesting. So I'm not going to go with what I first taste. I'm going to wait and try to break through what I first taste to see if there's like right. a secondary underlying taste. Was right. there any other magical auras in the room? Uh, insight at advantage. Insight at advantage, okay. 22. Okay. There's a reason why it took you so long the first time around but it's it's seeing someone else confirm your thought that was such a strong indicator but you really push that idea of it being dragon's blood to the back of your mind and you taste it again it tastes like your blood now uh, did we lose him no he said it tastes like your blood now oh i lost him then oh like specifically Specifically, her blood? Yeah. Just like your blood now. I know that my blood tastes different than others, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. But it's, 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 it's very distinct. It's almost... I mean... It's almost exactly your, my blood. Yeah, like, you've tasted your blood a lot. Like, you get it. Uh -huh. It's odd, because now... It's gone from dragon's blood, but now... You've really thought about it. You, It's not dragon's blood anymore. What blood is it? Well, now it's your blood. And how much does dragon's blood smell like that? My blood, not at all. Was there any other magic in the room that I? It's was still, seeing? but like to to your nose, still, Chuck. It still it still smells like dragon's blood. I I point at the wizard. <laughs> That's. Interesting. What is? I'm the wizard. Ducky's the wizard. The, the tiefling in the chair. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. The dragon's blood seems to be illusory. Yep, not, don't mind not... me. I'm just, I'm fine. It's a little You'll bit live. smaller than I thought it was. You'll live. Next time, actually knock yourself out, please. That would be a great help to everyone. I'm, out of I'm just gonna, wow. I'm gonna try again. Just. But a little just bit more finesse this time. Just to walk around. I'm just gonna lift him. I'm gonna lift him up and put him on the window ledge. <laughs> I'm gonna cast guidance on him. <laughs> it's fine. I'm good. And I'm just going to uh, to uh, scale to... down the side instead of jump this time. Well, that won't require a check, even as fun as that would be to try. <laughs> oh, robotics um, check. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, I mean, here you are, a little bit dazed, uh, a nice, a nice uh, knot already forming uh, on your forehead, forehead, and um, you scale down and you are on the Market Street below. People kind of looking at you like, what kind of person climbs down and out of a? Don't worry, room? official business. It's fine. <laughs> and it is the middle of the flipping day, and someone just kind of looks at you and goes, "That's a." It's a bit early to drink, isn't it? <laughs> Are you okay? Never. That's that's a terrible life motto. Is there? I don't know why my voice has changed. <laughs> and he, I don't know. Then he kind of this is relatable, like, yes. Then like his eyes get kind of big, and he looks and he goes, "Is the building on fire? Is no, something no. wrong? No, no. Well, I mean, yes, but What's... nothing to concern yourself about. Can we hear What's this conversation? Wrong? You happening? couldn't use the door." Uh, Move along, citizen. <laughs> oh, with my eighteen, with my eighteen passive perception, can I hear this? I think well, we yeah, all the window is open. It's <laughs> like it's not like a true like oh, second story. Where it would be like you know 15, 18 feet off. It's really more of like a half story up. So I mean, he only had to go about ten feet. So you're hearing this whole conversation. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna look out and so no, it's not on fire. He's just weird. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, it's a matter of opinion. I would say. Why is your different? Fix it's it. Mine. But was something so everything's fine. Did you just you don't like doors? <laughs> well, no. Why would I like doors? 
They're so mundane and uninteresting. They sound like Vex. Cool. But everyone uses Vex. them. Everyone uses the doors. I mean, if we use windows, we just have ladders going up to windows, and we'd go into our homes that way. <laughs> oh, now there's an idea. Mumbles, I got an important question. I have an important question. All right, well, the first important question first. Uh, I would not have tasted another Blood Hunter's blood, correct? Blood Hunter? <laughs> that I know of. The legend. Okay, so then, then I wouldn't have. <laughs> um, I can't so as far as I know, you would have. Yeah, all I know is what my blood tastes like, and I know what I am. So that's right. the assumption that I have to go under. That's what I was just making sure of. Right. Dude, I, I do mean, I see third times the charm probably on the blood. Um, so go ahead, Ducky. I was gonna say, do I see any other magical auras in the room? You sure do. The whole room is just lit up in illusory magic. You get the feeling that that could very well be the smell. Okay. Because it's certainly Some... not the flowers in the vase. I will. I will point out that. I will point that out, and. Uh... Can I try to disbelieve my nose as well as I'm smelling this? Can we try to dispel it? I don't have it. Uh, I don't think any of us have it right now. No, you can disbelieve illusions, though. Yes. You can like, attempt to disbelieve. Then I will do that. What is that going to require? Intelligence throw, I think. Oh, it's God. typically an intelligence investigation check against illusions. If it, okay, so I'll I'll say it this way. Yes, that would be right. Except in this situation, with what it with is, everything. how wrong it is, this is not something where you can ignore this smell. So to speak. Okay. But however, so go ahead and well. So those of you who is going to try and and disbelieve the smell, so to speak. Uh, my intelligence is only ten. That's not going to happen. I'll try. Well, you can try. No, just try. This I'm is gonna... not. This is. Not, I just want to know who's. You attempting. don't know what the DC is. Yeah, I just want to know who's attempting. I'll just try. The wizard. Okay. I'll try as well. I'll go ahead and try. Cool. Everybody, you all... clap your hands. <laughs> Believe. Do you all stand there for a minute. I'm not. And and you're you know you're thinking to yourself. It's an illusion. It's only an illusion. It can't really be this. And you take a deep breath in. It smells cinnamon. Cinnamon? From downstairs. From from downstairs, like yeah. But it's but powerful there's... like it's coming from this room. What's that smell? And now it smells like cinnamon. Is there? I'm going to roll fast. I'm going to roll maybe... back to the top of the stairs. Is there illusory magic in that room? In which room? In the in the lobby. No, no, no. I... This makes sense now. No, you don't see any other magic. Okay. This makes sense. When I tasted the blood again and thought about it, it was my own blood. Are you saying it's... Are you... We're just smelling what we think we should smell? Are you confessing? <laughs> Two nights ago, I was out at a bar getting drunk off my. Doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled an intelligence save with those eight. <laughs> with the Lord. Um, <laughs> no, it's what we're familiar with. I think is the illusion. So... I'm familiar with tasting my own blood. We're familiar with the scent that we came into. Let may I may I taste it? Taste the blood. I'm, I want to taste. It. It. Don't don't yeah. immediately let the dragon's blood overpower you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, intelligence. Mm -hmm. Add your proficiency bonus. You're not very familiar with blood tastes. Yeah. I do. I am proficient in poison, though. It's not poison. 
Just letting you know, just in case. <laughs> what? So I want you to tell me the the roll, but then I want to tell I want you to tell me what you're what you're okay. thinking of as you taste it. Okay. Um. Sixteen for, intelligence. Where is my proficiency? Big brain. It's a plus two is your proficiency bonus right now. Okay. I can never remember what that is. Level five, we get plus three. Next Level. Uh, yeah, I only rolled it. I rolled a twelve. Total. Um, total. That's with the. I rolled a six naturally, plus four modifier, and then two for the proficiency. But I want to know what you're thinking of as you taste it. I'm thinking. Because you're trying to ignore, right? Yeah. That sort of the idea of so... it being dragon splits. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking that I, w I want to think that I'm tasting I know it's not dragon's blood I'm ignoring it and I'm looking for cinnamon I want to see if that messes with the illusion okay so you're you're tasting you're tasting you're still getting a lot of the dragon split and just there just the back a little a little burn a little burn like cinnamon just a little bit mm. as you really focus on it okay this isn't a normal property of dragon blood, is it this is no it is not it the illusion is no in fact, now that you've you've sort of you know that it's a, an illusion now, Vex, and you know that it's you know that the taste of change, you know even that the smell is sort of a trick. I want you to make another intelligence check with your proficiency bonus at advantage. Um, okay. You're taking it all in. It's very it's a lot. Close your eyes and open your eyes. And you look back into the room and at the rags. The rags are still wet, but it's it looks like water. You're peeking back into the room and you've taken that deep breath in and all you it's surprising now because all you can smell is the flowers in the vase. <laughs> oh, it was it was what I thought it was. Ah. What did you see? What is it? We've been duped. Welcome to the oldest trick in the book. None, none of it's real, is it? So it wasn't a murder. No, no it's... Is the body still there? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> the body is still there. Yeah, so the body is so very body is much there. brutally <laughs> murdered. Oh, never mind. What? Oh, it is, it is still a murder, but... Uh... <laughs> Are you saying that we were tricked by... A scene? No, no, no. We've been tricked by the murderer. Welcome, welcome to the tricks of the Fey, my friends. Of the, I'm sorry. The, the Fey. Don't the trust anything. You can, yeah, don't trust anything. You can use your five senses on. That's not going to be real. There's nothing on those rags. It's water. Uh, yeah. There's no, no smell in the room. It's just the. Uh, Zion kind of kind of looks back. He, what do you What do you mean? It is, uh, the rags are covered in blood. And I can still smell the flowers. I know um, you can. I'm gonna look at... How often uh, have you come in contact with a fae? The what? Exactly. I'm gonna look at... at um, v Vux is the cleric, right? Yes. And actually, my god, uh, Sehenin, is very closely related to the Feywild. Oh, I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna ask him if he's able to dispel magic 
so I do not have it prepared. Don't know us how uh, it's a level three spell. I do not. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I do not have it available to me just yet. I will one day though. But so will I. I don't. Think. I'm working on that. I'm working on learning it now. I think so. So very smart. If, if we can't trust anything that we can see, uh, how do we know that any of this is is actually what we what, think it is? What do you see now, Vex? Sister, I think I found something. Never mind. <laughs> Brother, it's it's the Fae. Remember what Mother said: don't trust your senses. Oh, that would explain the cat then. Cat? Cat? Are they cats? Cat? What cat? Hey. The cat. Oh, I thought I found a cat. It was actually not a cat. Really? Then what was it? The cat. You don't want to know. <laughs> Watch your... We, we kind of do need to know. It's Placer Beast? Oh, I thought uh... you did. I thought you finally pieced together the cat, but, you know, that's just... <laughs> uh, Cheshire? Okay. Um... The cat. Vex, no, what did the... you... The Fae specifically now? mess. This the Fae specifically like to mess with food and drink. Although they're not, they're very skilled illusionists. Ah, again, it's water. I mean, most of the stuff you can see is not been messed with. There's no smell, except for the flowers on the vase. Oh, that's now on the ground. The rag is just dirty water. It's just water. Well, is there real real blood from the body? No, it's been cleaned. Right? But you, you you got a little bit of blood on the rag to taste, but that's I mean there's not much left yeah. in the body. No, it it's all been taken care of. Do you Oh I'm an idiot. What? What what, what do you mean? I shouldn't be falling for these tricks anymore. This is a powerful foe. Our dad. Uh, That's out of character. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, most likely... I, I want to say it's most likely on the Sealy. Uh, Sealy Fae typically don't do this. Yes. A what? The Sealy okay. Court versus the un Court. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. I admit I do not know much about these these fae. Would uh So there's Vex, can you tell how long the body's been there? A couple of days. But there's no smell of decay. Mumbles. <laughs> oh my goodness. The smell of decay? Yeah. No. Yeah, it does. No, it's... It's a perfectly preserved body. From the window, you hear, Fey are a tricky thing. We're gonna have our hands full. Did you climb back up? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'll offer you my hand. Now I'm much more comfortable out here. Hanging with your legs out the window. No, I'm I'm perched up, knees in my chest, holding on to the center support. <clears throat> You're getting all the kind, all kinds of looks. Um, He's taking a crap on passersby. Wow. So where do we go from here? You seem to be. We need to figure out a motive. What, what would the, the Fae, fae have? Fae don't... From what I recall, the Fae typically don't have motives. At least not ones that would make sense to us. Well, that's the point. If there was any motive that would have made sense to us, we could have knocked it off the... Revenge. Revenge? I don't follow. Revenge. We can knock revenge off the list. Ritual? So they from, have... oh, from my limited knowledge, the Fae are known for deals. 
And if you cross one of those deals, they will ensure nothing more than death or worse for you. I don't think this Perhaps. other deal gone sour. Yes. Oh. In that case, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I might have dealt with it, It's entirely more, possible though. still, it's just... Uh, I have to trust my hunch. The, the, my um, hunch is that it's not that. So we recognize that this is set up in the same way that uh, that the sacrifice to the Storm Lord was. Oh. Right? What did the Fae have to do with the Storm Lord, though? Quite different domains. Yes. Yes, but the fact that they... They wanted to make it look like revenge. Im imagery. Mm -hmm. Are we sure that it was the, the Storm Lord that was sacrificed to? Well, it, it, it was... It appears to have been made to look like it was another sacrifice. But I... I was thinking the same thing. Did they make a deal with the Storm Lord, or was it something else? I, uh, can I make a, re a religion check to I know about? I would like about, to help you with that. Yeah, yeah, to know about like the uh, even though I'm a faithful of Sehani, to know more about Kord's rituals. <clears throat> would he request human sacrifice? Yeah. Not sure. Or you could help He's... me. I don't know who's better at religion. I've got a plus four. Okay, you're better than me by one. The, the, yeah. That's actually that's actually interesting. Um, May I do... also make that roll? Well, I mean, with 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 all of you putting your heads together on it, take a minute to talk about it. Definitely okay. doesn't seem like anything somebody's done with the Storm Lord before, but you remember. Um, Particularly, um, particularly Chuck. Um, am I thinking of the right person? Chuck, what, what faction are you part of? Faith. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Particularly, uh, Chuck and, um, Vox. It was very specific who the ritual was done for. And the intent was to offer, was to make this offering to the Storm Lord. And then for as best as you could tell, the Storm Lord responded. But the Fae deal an illusion. Could they not have? Well, is all the rainwater illusory? Are we all secretly dehydrated? Or was the drought the an illusion? It was would I a real song. would I would I know that the Fae can control the weather, or like they can control things like that if they're powerful enough? I would probably like, know that. I I'm will going say, to... for the purposes of this, really maybe pushes a little bit more than what I would normally want to give. Yeah. Um, your knowledge of it, yes, a pow powerful enough would be able to manipulate the weather. Okay. This was not that. From so... what you can tell, and its basis for it, from the evidence that you have been able to gather in this room, mm -hmm. this this looks like mimicry. This is a this is a copycat thing, from what you can tell. Done by That's what it appears to be, mm. as you gather the evidence. It looks like a copycat. Thing. As if someone was trying to copy the 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 ritual which we have already done. But you've gathered yeah. enough evidence to certainly make it seem as if the copycat doesn't necessarily have to exist within the material plane all the time. It's. Hmm. Someone's making it look like revenge.
That's what this is about. Someone's unhappy. Well, I mean, we know... We know Bahir was quite unhappy with the ritual and its events. But, but he's he, dead now, so... He didn't get his way. Why would they need revenge? Unless... Could he have... Promised someone else? Something? Uh, it's possible, but I doubt it. Um... <laughs> no, he seemed like the type who would make of promises he could not keep. Someone was upset with him for many, being outspoken about. Many people were. So did we decide mm -hmm. that the Stormlord does not ask for human sacrifice? Generally, no. He's a... He enjoys, like, strength and competition, but never... More so, more so in... Displays of a, a game, sort of. Like, show who's the strongest, not destroy and conquer. That's the like time of a... True, true. It's the work of a devil gun. Maybe Fate. they teamed up. Oh. <laughs> I make the sign of Bahamut when, someone, when he mentions the devil. Could... What does that look like, monkey? I'll tell you later. <laughs> if the... If this is Faye, would it be possible that this has something to do with the fact that the Storm Lord does not usually request sacrifice? Could it have been something else they sacrificed to? Could be whoever they sacrificed, um if they were unhappy with that. Uh, I doubt that. Mumble. Mumbles. Are there any uh, priests of the Stormlord in the city who might have like displayed some unease with the nature of the ritual? That's a great question. I should probably <laughs> go to the shrine of the Stormlord and ask around. And who, do we know who it was that, that performed the ritual? Yeah. Yeah. Who was that? It was it was uh someone. Has, has anyone he, asked he did it himself? Oh. Has anyone know. asked who the person that reported this smell and noise was? I had thought about it, but I forgot to ask. Because they that seems like a person we would talk to. They said it they said it was the pers the person in the neighboring room. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's not a name, dear. Is Zayon still there? Oh. Yes, he is. I know this. Vax, I'm going to be honest, I don't think they know anything. Perhaps they Unless heard they were the ones that did it. Would it be possible they could have heard, yes, heard something or seen something that someone else may have missed? Could always um, knock on the door and ask? Are They're they still here. I mean, last time I checked. I quickly uh, j finish my way into the room and go to the next door and knock. I'll stand behind him. Big scary dragon boy. You hear nothing. It's my arms crossed. <laughs> Excuse me, is anyone in there? Can we say your name? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Vaxilia Thesis von Musel Phineas de Park J. Dorolo. I am here at your service. I just wish to speak with you. He died of we've old been, age. And I am choked. We've been, we've been, I roll it next to it. We've been sent by Zayim. Oh, I'm going to look over at Zayim. Do you have a key for this room? Who needs a key? I pull out my uh, lockpicking tools and unlock the door. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Fail. Oh. You didn't break it, did you? Huh? He's looking at you. He's looking at you. Like because you picked the lock. Wait, did you break? That I don't. Uh, I don't lock the doors. I don't. Actually, how did you even get that in there? I don't even have locks on the doors. <laughs> <laughs> what oh did my you, god! What did you stick? <laughs> Another 
You're Are a you tourist. Just, so, it so it's just a credit card. It's fine. It's fine. There really, there, there really isn't a lock on the door. Okay, I open the door then. No one inside. Room is like spick and span like it's had. It's just been turned over. Has is the is there any magic in that room? No. Okay. Mm. Zion, who was it that was in this room? Uh, Elias. Elias stays in this room. He stays. Here. He's here. Uh, you know, he's gone for a couple months at a time, and then he comes back and he stays a couple of weeks and then leaves again. He uh, he's. Uh, Does he always himself. leave the room this clean? Well, not usually. I clean it, but I haven't been in there today. And when was the uh, last time? I'm just going to start turning the place upside down, looking at everything. Okay. And I asked when the last time you saw him. Well, I saw him just uh, just a few uh, just a few hours ago. I saw him when I sent for um when I sent for uh, uh for the uh, the messenger. I'm just kidding. looking for anything that doesn't look like it should belong in this room. Did you oh, tell him what you were doing? I mean, let's just let's roll an investigation check. I did. Okay. I was did, looking at my other monitor. Zion, did, did you tell Elias what you were doing? Uh, didn't tell him anything. He complained about the noise. Um, let's see. Last... Oh god, has 20. He, has, um, he, has he checked out? Has he left? Do you know? Obviously he has. He didn't tell me he was leaving, but he's not in his room. Does he usually tell you he's leaving? Are there any clothes well, in the closet? Yes, of course. He, dressers or anything? You know, he comes by, he pays me for anything he may have needed while he was here, and I come up and clean the room and he leaves. Simple. Is there anyone else he could have paid to leave? No, this is this is my place. I'm the only one here. Mm. And are there any clothes or personal belongings that are there, or does it look like he's left, like left left? So, one. Okay. Let him tell me what my role sees. Yeah, Jeez. you get to really searching around. And that's when you notice something that looks like it has fallen behind the desk and the little bedside table that is in the room. Very similar to the one that you were just in, similar layout furniture. And it is uh, a, uh, a pouch for money. And there's um, 10 platinum pieces in it. Oh. Um. And then is a few this dozen man... uh, copper and, and silver. It's it's full of money. Um, is this person rather wealthy? Um, well, yes, uh, Elias. He has a, um, a bit of money. What? He always uh, is... pays well and leaves a little extra for the room. Where is Elias? Oh, well, he left a lot extra this time. That is, uh, that is his, that is his coin pouch. Um, he always wears it. it. Would he have gone anywhere in town? I mean, no. Usually he, uh, usually he sends someone out for it. He'll send me out for things, depending on what he needs. He very rarely does he leave once he's here, except to come down and to um, socialize a little bit. So what I'm hearing is we have a murder. And a kidnapping. Interesting. Zion, Zion, do you know where Elias is from? Uh, it, well, yes, he is from here. And where does he go when he is not here? Uh, I did not ask. He goes away for business. He takes things with him. He sells things, sometimes bring things back. I don't ask very many questions. It would be rude. We are not friends. He's just a very good customer. Hmm. All right, then. And I take the the satchel and plop it in his hand. You hold on to this. If he comes by, you let us know. Yes, I can. Um, 
Oh, I can afford that. It's a lot of money. I, I said know. he left a lot this time. Okay, I will hold on to it. He, like, tucks it into his... He, like, tries to shove the pouch into his pocket. Yes, I'll yes, yes. hold on to it. I'll let you know if he comes back, of course. So. It sounds like it. <laughs> yeah. Can I insight check him? He's yeah, literally lying. It's obvious. <laughs> I pass it inside. Doesn't know where he goes. <laughs> he's, he's keeping that freaking money. <laughs> I pass yeah. it inside and pin it, and I think I can do that. I mean, I'm not worried about him keeping no. the money. I'm worried about him letting us know. Oh, he yeah, he'll definitely tell you if he sees the guy. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't care about the money. My parents are rich. Yeah. <laughs> well, must be nice. So so far we found <laughs> out that there's a person chopped in three pieces. There's an illusionist, a, a fae that is ca you know probably caused this murder, and now mm -hmm. someone else has gone missing. What? That is pretty much what it looks like. Was there any other school of magic that I saw other than the illusion? Some in there. Hey, Vix, you've been awfully quiet. Do you have anything to add? Anything you would like to look for? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Out of character, Lynn is uh, <laughs> taking it all in. Um, in character. <laughs> um, no, not particularly. I think she's just... I think hearing things as they come, and I think making connections. So, not in particular. Okay. I will I will require you to look for something. <laughs> okay. Every everyone else paid their dues and participate. Hit their head. Listen, I, they've I, hit their head, I, tasted I, blood, I, smelled the flowers, I, like Um I'll cast guidance. It's okay. just making a nice circle around. Like, I don't care what it is. Just Vix is taking it all in. So you're you're connecting the dots in your mind. And as you do, you're trying to build this picture. Mm. But you're going to sort of move around the room or be in the room, be around it. So what, what are you trying to, what dots are you trying to add to this mental picture to connect it all? Um, I think more so motives like why would someone fake a, or potentially if they're trying to fake a religious ritual, uh, mm -hmm. and why would he be the target? I mean, as she's aware that he had said some things about not agreeing with the, the Storm Lord, but if the Storm Lord doesn't require, like, I don't know. She, I think she's just wondering where where is the connection? Why? If it is fake, if I mean, obviously with the whole like faking it being blood and why so much discreetness? And I think also, I think she's curious. What was the letter uh, said? What does that say again? The that letter. Fucks, the, the, note. that fucks, the, the notes. Fucks, that fucks. Oh yeah, yeah. The note. The notes were his his private scribblings in his journal mm -hmm. that he kept. It's basically ramblings that how yeah exactly he was about how yeah about how he was right and everyone else was wrong and no one was letting him get a word in he didn't feel listened to uh, are there any specific and you knew this um you you were you also had some some uh dealings in and out with uh with bahir so as you're walking through the room and you're thinking motive you're trying to put it all together where is that what you were that you would look through would be the notes um yes most likely if she could find anything that has to do with mm, any notes of any sort anything that has to do with maybe any government papers if she noticed anything um more not so more like physically in that way we're blood and i think she's not like that type of gal but more so like what did they leave behind that could lead to another trace basically Let's do a couple things here with with the notes and some different things. Let's have you roll me an investigation check at advantage. Okay. Mm. There we go. 21. Okay. Then I also want you to make a... 
Perception check, just straight perception. I mean, not like, yeah, just one roll, straight roll. Okay, cool. A couple things here. You know from your time, and you're you're an observant person. You're very good at being able to sort of uh, be the fly on the wall, so to speak. Um, very good at blending in so that people will walk by you and have conversations near you and not really pay you any mind. Through your observations and such, you know that um, Bahir never wrote anything important in the front pages of that journal. That really was just private thoughts. But anything he thought was particularly important, he would flip to the back of his journal and write in it. So you sort of just instinctually pick up this stack of notes, very carefully moving them again away from the head. And just take the top half and just set it aside and begin to flip through what would have been, by your best estimation, the back uh, of the notebook. In it, two things catch your eye. There's a mention of Elias and how stupidly annoying he is. Uh, and how um, Bahir was going to be sure to ask Zion to have him stay at a different inn. You also find note that he mentioned that at the conclusion of the week-long festival, um, the first festival of the Desert Rains, uh, he was set to have uh, an early morning meeting with um, Saman, the wise, who was head of the faith party, and recently conducted this ritual. As you look around the room and you're looking at things, and you're seeing how there's some things that are scattered and strewn about. You look over at the bed, and the thing about the bed is that the the bed looks maybe a little ruffled um, and unkempt. But as you look at it, you get you can see distinctly that there's no impressions in the in the bed itself or the pillow that is used that would typically be there had someone slept in it recently. So the bed has not been touched uh, from what you can tell since he's been in this room. It just some point got messed up in the kerfuffle. How, how long ago did he check in? Was it three days? Three days. So and he was... Go ahead. He, he checked in during the ritual? Uh, he checked or, in during no, the checked festival. In during the festival, yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, in a from what has been described to you, in just a very terrible mood, more okay. so than usual. A terrible mood. It doesn't appear that he slept, and he has made notes about his meeting and also just how stupidly annoying he believes Elias is. Do you mind repeating <laughs> the meeting part of that? He said he was set to have a meeting in the morning with the with leader of the come on. yeah. And how do you spell yeah. Saman? Because I got that wrong, I'm sure. Uh, Saman is S-A-M-A-N. I had it right. Uh, um, Saman, Saman the Wise. When was the meeting? Uh, it is supposed to be in what is would have been this morning. Okay. I thought you said first day of the celebration. No, the for after the conclusion of ah. the festival. So the festival has lasted a week. And then they were set to meet as soon as it ended, which would have been this morning. Okay. Um, so, go ahead, Vent. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Vent. <laughs> Everyone uh, else's name is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha? Um. I don't even know it's Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay, then. Go ahead. Um. Okay, I share that. I walk over to the group and I share my findings with them. Um, I share that in finding in the back of his journal that not only did he find Elias horribly annoying, but that he was set to have that meeting um, with. Uh, Saman, uh, this morning that he was supposed to, that, but he ended up not obviously not attending. Um, and that his bed, although he was 
there for three days um, was only ruffled because maybe a certain movement was by him, not because he actually laid in the bed. Um, and you said dragon's blood causes you to go kind of crazy? But the dragon's blood isn't real. Yes, but the dragon's blood was an illusion. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Mumbles, yes. when did you say the smell started? Uh, the smell, smell started. started two nights ago. So, three days, essentially. So, he died before he slept in He's been in dead the since... Yes, he's mm -hmm. been dead. Since he checked in. Yep. Yep, yep. Do we know if... So, Zyan reported the body? Uh-huh. This morning. Has anyone spoken to Saman? Uh, mm -hmm. no. Now that you know of. I mean, you just meant to go meet with Zayn. Do I notice any other names in the journal? Uh, I mean, yes, but nothing that was marked with any sort of importance. I mean, he, he mentions, of course, several other members of you know, the government and such, but nothing, that's, nothing that strikes you with the important, importance that that did. Maybe, maybe we should go speak to Saman about their meeting. That sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I misheard um, the innkeeper's name or innkeeper, uh, but uh, I think I don't. I wrote it down, but I might have misheard him. Did he say that? Someone he got because he said before we knew it was Elias. So someone paid for the uh, uh, here to keep quiet. Did I mishear that? So is what is what happened is someone complained about noise and the smell, right? Which at this point you know now was Elias, mm -hmm. but that but here specifically requested not to be disturbed, like don't open this door. Yeah. So to open the door, Zion essentially accepted a bribe from Elias to finally knock on the door, open it, and figure out what the crap was going on. And, and so that happened. And that was this morning? That was this morning. And it's then Elias disappeared. Hours. Yeah, and then Elias is nowhere to be found at this point. And his purse is still here. Yep, and, and left the coin pouch behind. You know... Uh, Zion, I, I believe that uh, this may answer some of the questions that we have, actually. Uh, allow me to take the, the coin purse, and I shall bring it to uh, Elias, who I believe is probably with uh, Saman the Wise. He sort of puts his hand onto his pocket. Uh, why, would you, why would you need the coin purse? How would you know where he is? Well, we know he had a meeting with Saman, so he is very no, likely that there. Was, that was Bahir. What? Bahir. That was Bahir. Oh, Bahir the dead had guy had oh, Never mind then. Forget everything. <laughs> yeah, your notes were wrong. Um, my mumbles, were there any other schools of magic in the room other than Illusion that I saw? That's the third time you've asked, and it's the third time I'll say no. I'm sorry, I haven't heard a response. I didn't I know. I said no each time. I apologize. Make a note, Ducky. I know you keep them. Make a note. No <laughs> other. <laughs> no other schools of magic. Magic. <laughs> none. Big letters. None. <laughs> none at all. None. You... Listen, I if, I'd have said, if I'd have said regular null, okay, you'd have wrote that down. Regular null, regular null, regular null. <laughs> Diane, do you know what Elias does for a living? Nothing anymore. Elias is alive. You see, everybody got this mixed up. We assume. Elias, we assume. I said, what does he do for a living? Oh my god, now I get it. We meant God masters. <laughs> 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 um, 
I think this is a good stopping point. <laughs> yeah. I'm We're just going to do please. one thing really quickly, if that's okay mm -hmm. with everyone. Um, yes, go ahead. Would I know of any signs to look for that would hint that something from the Feywild has slipped into the material plane? Yeah, and it's been in the picture of the room the whole time. Go back to the room. I just saw that picture, Doug. Is look, it... at the, look at the picture of the room. And it, and it, accurate except for the body. Something stand out to you? The letter right here? There's a cat up there! Okay. You look up. Uh, yep. It's the cat. You see, yep. Oh, you, cat. You look, yep, you look at the cat. Oh, is that you? literally what you meant by you pieced together the cat earlier? Oh, that is yeah. actually oh. a cat. There's yeah. a cat up there on the top. Oh. And, you, and there it is. See, I didn't think much. Yeah. And then there's a little, then there's a little bit above, and then there's the letter. Cat gone. Cat on the other side. Where did oh, the cat go? Walks around. Cat gone. Cat back on the ledge. What? Are you trying to lead us somewhere? Mm -hmm. I say in Sylvan. It's just it. It's almost like uh. It's just it's making this loop. It's there. Oh oh oh! Gone. Is my right. chance? Is my chance? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull the mask down. I've been waiting to use this, looking over at my <laughs> sister. I'm going to expend a spell slot. What? Uh, the the thing to uh, cast animal charge? friendship. It's a oh, thing. No. It's a yes. Well, I'm whatever. stupid. Okay. <laughs> I literally just talked to it in Sylvan, or I tried to talk to it in Sylvan. So it's stuck in a loop. Where's it jumping to? It's just from the ledge to the little... There's like a loft up there where there looks okay. to be some crates and then walks around and then back to the ledge. And it keeps... I'm going to try to... Can I try to, climb, try to climb up to the loft? I'll lift I'll sure. lift, I'll lift her up. Yeah, you can be lifted up. Okay, I will be lifted up to the loft. Mm -hmm. And I'll continue in Sylvan. Where do you want me to go? Show me. And I'll take my gun off my shoulder. <laughs> That you can't hold up. Wait, did, did, so did Masters make any friends? It it blinks out. And it doesn't reappear on the ledge. Oh. It showed, it wanted you to go up there. So it was disappearing from the ledge and then just reappearing over and over? Yeah. Uh, do we want to stop there for now? Because it is past 10 o'clock and I know that you have to do stuff. Mumbles. Yeah, so... It blinks out, and you just get the look from the window as you look down, and just blink down onto the street and begin to walk off. Oh, I wanted to use we'll this the whole time. And that is where we will end tonight's session. That was amazing. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> it was awesome. My, my brain hurts. We were in combat. My brain hurts really bad. <laughs> I like how you're using that when we really, really have a Google expertise. Doc. Oh god. It's like completely out of my realm of expertise. Hey, but I mean... I am glad that I made a blood hunter. I will say that. Mm -hmm. Well... Well, I tailored the adventure to your skills. <laughs> my advantage on everything to deal with I guess my time planes. will I'll, my time will shine then. Well, because I, it <laughs> wasn't it wasn't ever really about the roles. The roles were always the afterthought, and I just thought I just needed y'all to really get into the character part of it. I thought I loved did a great it. job. Right, now we're I already into it. my character. I loved it. Yeah, but you're literally every character you make. Yeah, I thought I thought y'all did agree. I have the high ground. <laughs> oh my God. Now you do. You really truly do now. <laughs> so. I loved it. Rumble says amazing. Box. Can't wait. I have the high ground. I must abandon no. you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I actually didn't even have the music. Bye. I forgot to even put it on. So. It was. This was so good. I, I need to ask it. about that. So this room is accurate except for the. Except there's no body. I, there's no I body. Was not, I was not going to put any sort of image of the body in here. That would. So just so that letter in the corner is there. Yeah. Yeah, the room is completely accurate. How it how it is? Right. Depending on what that letter says. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Well, I mean, y'all are still in the room. You guys Look have a good night. At letter bye. We're going to figure it out. Uh, um, we'll figure it out in two weeks. What that letter says. Uh, Ducky, make a note. I made it. What? Make a note about the letter. I made a note about the letter. Make two. Look. <laughs> at letter. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. Also, happy birthday to Micro. <gasps> what? Uh, Micro? Did Jazz tell you? No, we already Micro? knew, but I, uh, then I forgot. Oh. Oh. I didn't know. Happy birthday! Uh, happy birthday, Micro. We love you. Yeah. you. What are you, I like, knew, 35 I knew now? And was told to embarrass you and didn't want to do it because I love you. I was going to sing in my German I, accent. I don't. <laughs> I care about my birthday at all. Happy birthday, we love you. I will serve or mute you. Amazing. <laughs> Surprised you haven't already. <laughs> you too. Hey. What? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what a shame. Something happened to her. <laughs> oh, poor Ducky. I fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna give that. I uh, gonna say goodbye to chat. Good night, everybody. Thanks for playing. Thanks, Mumbles, for making a fun start to a campaign. Bye, Monkey. It was brilliant. Good night, Monkey. Well, I mean, I'll be right back if you guys are still there in a minute. I'm gonna go raid someone though, so you should come with me. I had to close your stream because I don't have two monitors right now. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> All right. Well. I'm confused, but it looks like we have a mystery to solve as a group, uh, which is super exciting. Um, I hope you guys thought this was fun. I had a blast. Um, I'm going to look for a raid target here. Um, ooh, I would like to raid that person, but... That's, uh, that's not a game I'm going to be willing to raid. Um, oh, here's an interesting one. Okay. Here is a gentleman who um, I actually found on TikTok who does D&D uh, &D themed music, uh, which is a ton of fun. Um, looks like he's actually playing a game, which is fine. But um, I think you would all enjoy some of the D&D &D music that he makes because it's hilarious. He's, he's basically a D&D &D comedian. Um, and is that Post Malone with a with a Pokemon? I don't understand that ad. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's playing a game uh, with a friend. I don't think he's family friendly, but um, should be fun. So y'all should come and join on. I forgot to set the raid call. Um, no, that's not the right raid call anyway. That's the right raid call. Jungle Fam D and D raid. Um, thank you all for being here. Thanks for hanging out, and hopefully I will see you all sometime later next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.